Hello everybody and happy Easter. Um, trying to get into the spirit of things here. Hi everyone, um, for today's video, uh, I, first of all I wanted to do a little bit of an update. I know I said I was going to try and do uh, a video every every day to start with, but I gave it a bit of thought and I thought I'd probably overload everybody with videos and they'd get fed up if they hadn't already and I'd run out of things to say. I know some people will probably be thinking that happened a long time ago, but yeah, I, I just felt maybe once or twice a week is probably enough to, to do something. I've also been working on a different, uh, separate project with my good friend and colleague Charlene O'Malley. Uh, we've set up a podcast and YouTube which will hopefully um, reach out to other people in the creative industries and discuss ways to stay creative and survive in the industry that we do. Not just during lockdown but longer term. Um, it's a channel, uh, I'll put a link down below in the description for the video and it would be really nice if you wanted to pop over there and subscribe. We've got our first episode up there and we'll be doing another one for every Wednesday we're going to do an episode. So today I want to talk a little bit more about, um, rather than photography specific technical tips and tricks, I thought we'd talk about ways to try and stay creative during this time because it's very difficult as I'm sure you know. Um, one of the problems I had earlier in the year, I had quite a few projects and ideas that I wanted to, to work on but the problem was the weather. Um, January, February, too cold, too wet, too windy and just as soon as the weather gets good, I'm looking at the window just now, it's a beautiful day, Easter Sunday and we're stuck indoors. So it's really difficult. It's been like, although it's only been three weeks we've been in this lockdown situation, it's actually been four months since I've been able to get out and actually do anything for myself, any of the projects that I'm working on. So I thought I'd speak a little bit about that and ways that people can get creative during times like this. One of the first things, um, we're all allowed to go outside and have a, a daily exercise. I've been going out cycling every day, so uh, that's been good. Um, but if you're going out for a walk, going out for a run, take your phone with you, take your camera with you. There's nothing to stop you taking some pictures as you go. Um, but obviously you're not going to take your full studio and tripod outside with you. Well, you get in trouble if you do that. But yeah, just bring your camera and just try and maybe every day come back with one picture that's, that you're really proud of, that you've spent a few minutes thinking about. Maybe you looked at some of the other videos, have a look on, on the channel. There's tips on using composition and there's various things in there that can help you improve your photography. But maybe just have a, a look to see if you can get... just. Just try and come home with one specific picture and share them. I'm quite happy for people to send me stuff to have a look at and I'll give you my honest opinion. And yeah, just uh, get creative on your, on your daily exercise. The other thing we can do when we're stuck indoors is maybe just get creative and try and do some product shots or some still life shots. I uh, haven't actually done anything indoors photography wise at the moment but I have been thinking about it. I did last year in the winter I, I did some work with some whiskey bottles and it was fun setting up lights and just trying different things out to get some images that I liked so I, uh, I may actually have a go at some of this in the next week or two because I'm starting to get quite bored now. But yeah, you've almost got things around your house that you can you can play around with and just, just try using natural light. If you've got studio lights, use them. Just get creative and see what you can come up with. It's, uh, it's amazing what you can do if you've uh, got your brain tuned in and want to get creative. And this is a perfect time where there's no pressure to be doing anything else. Switch off Netflix for an hour and clear your kitchen table and have some fun. The other thing I've been doing, which has been really therapeutic, I was working on some uh, training content. More will be revealed on that in the 
coming weeks. But I've been I've been trying, and even for these YouTube videos, I've been trying to pull out images that I can talk about and use to to illustrate different techniques in photography. And by going back into some of these old hard drives, I mean I've got. 30, 40 hard drives in boxes all around the place with all my images from when I, when I first went digital. So I've been going back, maybe not quite as far as that, but certainly the last five or six years worth of stuff, just looking for images. And it's been great. I, I've found images that I'd forgotten about. I've found images that I'd never even looked at. I'll go to a shoot and even while I'm taking the pictures, I'll have favourites just on the back of the camera and I've already decided by the time I get home I've got a handful of pictures that I know I really like and I'll focus on them, work on them and I might totally disregard dozens, possibly hundreds of other pictures because I feel that I've already picked the best out and you're emotionally attached to them when you first take them because that's the one that's the moment where you go yes I've I've nailed it, I've, that's what I was looking for today. But sometimes you forget to, you might have picked up some other stuff along the way. So I've been digging through my archives, as I say, to find the images to use on YouTube and for other training purposes. And it's been quite fascinating finding images. I, I do this from time to time, I'll dig up, out a folder and, and find some images. So this is an idea to go into your archives and, and pull out some of your images that you've You've maybe gone on a, a landscape shoot and had an absolute favourite, but there might be something else in there. Um, one of the folders I had most fun, and it's been very popular on Instagram, I've started sharing some of my pictures from my... I did a charity, I volunteered to go over to Gambia uh, nearly five years ago now, and did some work for a charity over there, photographing, documenting the work that their people were doing. I've been sharing some of the images from that and it's been it's been quite fascinating going back through them again and yeah I'd, I'd, I'd almost forgotten about some of these images but it's been really good so yeah have a, have a look through your your older stuff because yeah I'm quite quite pleased with a lot of these images that I took over there I've also been revisiting some photo shoots and I'm just gonna talk briefly about this one photo shoot I did with um, a model called Faith who uh, travelled up from England and I worked with her one day and again the same thing I'd picked a few favourites at the time and I'd actually won a couple of awards for, for a couple of these pictures but I went back into them because I was looking for something specific about lighting and went into the studio images that I'd, I'd shot with her um, I say studio it was just a, it's an old building that we, we worked in that was particularly cold and I think we shot it in either January or February so uh, it was a quite a quick shoot, but I've started going through these images and absolutely love them. And I did nothing with these at the time because I had other favourites. But just as an example of having a play around with images, I, I love this, this first image of Faith. But then I thought I'd have a little play around with it and I really liked it in this uh, black and white. It's a sort of warm black and white tone that I use in a lot of my uh, images. And then I thought I might crop it and see how it looked cropped. And then as I cropped it, I zoomed it in on the screen, then I thought, let's crop it a little bit more. And as I've come in and cropped it in and cropped it in, I've actually found, I've now got four images from one image, all of which I really like, and they've all got lots of impact. So yeah, just get your images out, try different, try black and whites, try different effects on them, try different crops, have a play around with them and just see what you can find. Because I think... Sometimes we don't realise how many good pictures we've taken on a day. So that's all for today. I just wanted to, just some tips and some ideas for uh, if you're bored and if you're missing being creative like I am. So uh, yeah, just uh, see if you can do some projects, take some pictures when you're out and about, get your kitchen table cleared, find some items, whiskey bottles, gin bottles, jewellery, whatever you you think might make a good picture and have some fun with it and yeah get back into your archives and see what you've got and until next time everyone stay safe and stay home and see you soon